What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible, doing a reading for Gemini for the year. This is your 2021 yearly reading. Um, going through these, trying to get through these. Um, I'm going to clear the energy real quick. Just put your hand on your heart chakra. Thank you, angel spirit guys. Yeah, hold on, let me try again. Thank you, angel spirit guys, ancestors, creator of all. Please give me a sight to Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month, for the year, 2021, for the year. Thank you. 2021. You guys ready? Whether you had a rough 2020 or not, you know, 2021 has a lot of promise. It is a universal year five, so... University Year 5 is about way more freedom than you had in 2020. 2020 is, <clears throat> is basically was about hard work because it was a year four. So you weren't going to get anything unless you really tried to get it. But it's also about stability and work and trying to get things to happen and make things happen. So this is I'm always like, make it happen. Uh, but a year five... Year five is about freedom, it's about creativity, it's about taking things to the next level, it's about romance. I think everybody's going to be feeling a little bit more free. Gemini, you love that. You love to travel. You love meeting people. So, it should open those doors up for you, okay? So, just expect it. Um, also, with Jupiter and Saturn going into Aquarius, which is your sister sign, I think you will feel a lot of energy coming from that area of life, depending on where Aquarius is in your in your chart. So just look forward to it. I'm gonna pull a card for every month and to read it on a quarterly level and pull some Oracle cards. <clears throat> Gemini Sun Moon and Rising for the year of 2021. What can we expect from Gemini? Oh, here we go. Okay. The Four of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. So the Four of Cups reverse. Um, what we're getting here is things that you may have rejected in the past, you will be more accepting as the year comes around. So I think you're having a change of heart when January pops up. The Ten of Swords in February, the love month. <laughs> something is coming you're getting some closure you're getting some mental closure at least uh in february and in march you feel a little bit tired with the ace of wands so not a great time to start anything new the ace of wands reverse uh is a reversal of energy so you don't want to really start new projects or stuff like that i feel like your energy is going to be kind of tired but uh the first part of the year just seems like you're you're taking it slow Let's go into the second part of the year, which is springtime. You got the two of wands, the uh, nine of cups reverse, and the five of swords. So we're going into spring, and it looks like a little bit of drama. A little bit of drama, uh, Gemini. Looks like you're making some plans. Something that you're planning is not quite working out. Now, I can't tell you for sure. Let me see if I can fix this camera real quick. Because <clears throat> I don't think you guys can quite see everything. Okay. Oh, there's Mister. <laughs> so, um, you're making some plans. Uh, and they may not quite work out. Now, I'm just trying to warn you ahead of time. So, if you get into the spring and something's not quite working out, you probably know why. It may have to do with a partnership or something. Uh, because the Five of Swords talks about you... Probably getting in conflict with somebody not working out and somebody leaving okay so this could be a relationship this could be a partnership this could be any type of business deal as we move into the summer we have the Hierophant reversed we have the king of wands reversed and we have the wheel of fortune reversed the summer whoo boy the summer is gonna be a little bit harsh for you Gemini the Hierophant reverse is breaking of commitments so or in a positive light, you decide to do something non-traditional, okay? You decide to go on a non-traditional route. You decide, okay, this wasn't working for me. Doing it the same way wasn't working for me, so I'm going to try to do it a different way. 
Also, well, for some of you, because this is about winning at all costs, Hierophant Reverse can also talk about breaking up of commitments, breaking up of relationships, breaking up of anything that's been long term. Okay. The King of Wands could be an energy that you're dealing with, or it could be your energy. So this is around summertime. The King of Wands is, is someone who is abusive or is very uh, afraid to do anything, afraid to move forward. So you might be dealing with that energy near the summertime. And the Wheel of Fortune is that your luck is going backwards um, or things feel stuck. So in the summertime, I wouldn't start any new projects if I were you. Or take it slow. If you're having a lot of drama in your life in the summertime in 2021, take it slow. Try to figure people out. Don't try to make a lot of new actions because there is either a breakup happening, a breakup of a relationship, or you may have relationship issues during the summer, or someone who doesn't want to quite make a commitment. If it's not a breakup, it's someone that you're dealing with who's not really trying to uh, make a commitment with you that you're dealing with in the summertime could be a fire sign aries uh sagittarius or leo who's just like i don't want to really move forward so you may be having problems in a relationship issue with someone of that nature as we move into the fall and the winter we have the three of wands the temperance card and the seven of pinnacles so you're left kind of waiting at the end of the year gemini uh, um, or someone's waiting on you maybe you leave the situation maybe you walk away from the situation I'm not quite sure you haven't gotten that, that far yet mm -hmm. don't try to prejudge it before you get there okay I'm just letting you know the energy the three of wands reverse is either you're tired of waiting or somebody's waiting on you it can play itself out in so many different ways you never know the temperance card is once again waiting so there's a waiting there's a patience um, there's healing. So whatever you go through in the kind of the middle of the year, you're getting that healing. You're taking some time for yourself. You're getting that healing. Um, there's, a, there's a patience. And then we also have the Seven of Pentacles, which talks about waiting. It talks about waiting and trying to see if you're, if you're going to... All these three cards <clears throat> is about patience. So the only thing, the most general read I can give for all of you, because there's so many people that are Gemini's, um, this is at the end of the year, you're going to be waiting for something. You're going to be patient. You're going to, it's a, it's almost a universal thing that the universe is really trying to get you to ultimately be patient about something. Be patient. So our three major arcana cards, we got the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Temperance card. There's going to be a slight backwards movement in regards to either a relationship that you're going to have to be patient about. But you, I feel like it's not over. The Hierophant Reverse, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Temperance card. So our three major Arcana cards in this whole deck talk about something that's going to get disrupted that you've been long-term trying to invest in. And you're still going to invest into it. Look at that. The Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups Reverse talks about even if you walk away from something, you're going to walk back toward it. Message of love, something coming to you, someone wants to talk about they love you. This could be a very emotional year for you in regards to romance. What did I see? <laughs> Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is your energy. Talks about you being receptive, listening, communicating. There is a little bit of drama when it comes to some type of commitment. And things are kind of moving backwards, but that's okay because it's a lesson. And, you, and what this year is going to teach you is about patience dealing with other people. Which means you haven't quite learned it yet. Somebody's going to test your patience. Or several people will. What is the animal oracle for 2021? Clear out the clutter. So even before you even get into the year, the frog spirit says clear out the clutter. Get rid of things that you don't need because it's going to um, cause you problems. So before the new year starts, you need to get rid of anything that you're not using and get, get rid of, even get rid of negative people. Clear out the clutter. What is the 
forty seven survives for Gemini Sun Moon Rising. The idea there is a idea that you have. If there's something that you need to focus on, it is the inspiration that you have, the ideas, the mind. There is an inspiration that the universe is trying to give you for 2021. You need to move forward with that idea. Don't don't focus so much on what's going wrong. What's going right is that idea. So if you have something, an inspiration that you want to do in 2021, go forward and do it. <clears throat> What is the angel advice for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Outdoors. So don't spend too much time inside. Go outside, ground yourself, get some fresh air, connect with nature. This is where your creative ideas are going to come. If you don't have the idea yet, this is what it's talking about. Okay, so there's some inspiration. There's something that you're supposed to be doing in 2021. It's very creative, uh, but you need to kind of get outside of your boundaries. Uh, Jim and I, I don't even know why I'm telling you this because you're, you, most of you guys do that anyways. You guys are usually typically always outside doing something, but you're going to find your most inspiration by getting outside of your, your normal area. And there's some inspirational idea that's going to take you to the next level for 2021. Frog Spirit says, before you even get there to 2021, you need to clear out some old stuff. Get rid of some old energy that is blocking you, which could be anything. Just just clear, before 2021 comes, clear out. Um, there is some drama at the beginning of the year. You're going to feel a little tired, take it slow. Um, you're making new plans. Some, some stuff may happen between you and another individual, but that may not work out. Um, there should maybe some backwards movement in regards either to relationships or people that you've been committed to for a long time. So it doesn't have to be a committed relationship for, cause that's, because on a general level, it just talks about people that you did, made a commitment with. So it doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be like a business commitment, but those are going backwards because of some individual, possibly a fire sign at the end of the year. You are being patient. Uh, you may be tired of waiting or someone's waiting on you, but you're being patient in regards to trying to see something manifest. So you haven't given up, which is a Gemini kind of thing. You're not giving up on things. It's just that things are kind of slowing down. I see that 2021 is probably going to be a really slow year for you. So don't expect too much, but don't get too frustrated when people are giving you a lot of pushback. Okay, because that's what I'm kind of seeing. Is like you got people giving you pushback right now in the year so we'll see as we go month by month if you need some inspiration or if you need some advice i'm here for you check you uh, the links in the descriptions and i can give you a personal reading uh, to kind of see what's kind of going on in your life and remember make your reality happen because if you don't do it then who will talk to you guys later and peace out